Okay, so let's talk about what to expect for Shiba Inu. Uh, this will be in the context of this week and next week, so that's what we are going to cover. As always, thanks for giving me a few minutes. I promise to make it worth your while. Let's get into this. All right, so right now, the overall market, as of recording this video, is down about 2.5%, uh, still above the $1 trillion. And uh, the key word that I want you to remember is really two words. There's there's volatility and uncertainty. All right, that's the things that I want you to remember. And this this is, video is about Shiba Inu, but quite frankly, you could pretty much plug any any major coin or token name into into what I'm talking about, and it applies to that as well. Okay, so again, what to expect for Shib? If we if we roll down and take a look at Shib, uh, still is very firmly entrenched at that number 13 spot. Okay, um, so we separate us and uh, DAI by about 300, uh, 300 billion, and we are actually about. What is that? Don't do math in public. Uh, six four uh, so sixteen sixty seven. Yeah, about nine nine hundred billion away from uh, polka dot. All right. So as far as kind of you know the the numbers there. If we look, oh, let me do this real quickly. Apologize. Okay, so if we look at SHIB right here, right now, on the seven day, it's down one point eight, and on the uh, twenty four hour, it's down point you know four point. Can't read today. Four point three. And just basically flat right there on the on the one hour. Okay, so from a what to expect, I fully expect SHIB to continue to do exactly what it's doing right here, right now, meaning this kind of flat high one one, you know, eight range up to maybe one, two, four, one, two, five. This is the range that we're going to be in for a while. Okay. Because if you look at kind of the last seven days, looks like there's a lot going on here, but there's really not. You know, highs of one three. You know, again, that's kind of an outlier right there, but really more of these these spikes up into the you know the one two range, high one twos. But really, your main consolidation level is right here, kind of in that range I mentioned earlier, just a minute ago. Uh, remember again, uncertainty and volatility. Okay, so volatility for the month of pretty much November is going to rain um, until basically November fourteenth. On November fourteenth we are going to get the CPI uh, it, data report. Now, we got the jobs report earlier this month, the unemployment jobs report, all that kind of stuff. It was a good report, i.e. it showed indicators and, and showed signs that uh, what the government is doing to combat inflation, at least in, in, the, in the eye, and in in that one report was working. But this is a good news. That was kind of fact, you know, uh, key report number one we needed to get. Again, uncertainty and volatility. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring all this home to Shiba Inu in just a minute. Also, so we have the CPI, the Consumer Price Index Report, coming out on November 14th. This is the one that shows, you know, the year-over-year year and the month-over-month month inflation number and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so if that, if that report comes out and it shows even any, any type of a move down, and we were at 8.2 last month, so we maybe moved to 8.1 or anything like that, then you can expect pretty much quite possibly a really good the remainder of November, okay? Uh, also, remember, we have, we have um, elections tomorrow. Tomorrow is election day. Again, uncertainty, volatility. The volatility in this capacity is not going to be a, a, a volatility where we have major ups and major moves down. So it's going to be more of a flat scenario, kind of what you're seeing here, right, where it's like, uh, not a lot going on. Negative two, maybe up up one or two percent, but not. But at the end of the day, uncertainty is reigning the the narrative, and that's really what it, what's the, the the key thing. So this impacts all major cryptos, inclusive of Shiba Inu. So that's what's that's what to expect. <clears throat> so keep your eye out for uh, elections tomorrow, November eighth. Uh, November 14th, we've got uh, the CPI report coming out. If that's good, then we could get a really remainder, really good rest of the month, November. And then uh, we've got uh, in December, on December 13th and 14th, we've got the Federal Reserve meeting again. Okay, so that's what I got for you. That's what to expect. As always, I appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye.